Wow, that is a massive view. Absolutely incredible. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 319 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. Woo! Yeah, we're just packing up Bumblebee this morning. We are in the town of San Jose in Peru. And we've got an absolutely awesome day coming up today because we are going to visit Peru's second most visited attraction, the Colca Canyon. And this is actually one of the deepest canyons in the world. And apparently you can see a lot of condors there and it's super impressive impressive and even the ride to get there is like super twisty and super windy and should be absolutely awesome so let me show you the route for today so we are still down here we haven't made it that far into Peru just yet and today we are going to be passing Arequipa and heading up to Chivay before heading across to visit Canyon del Colca. It's actually just 150 miles, but Google Maps says it will take us five hours. So it's already eight o'clock. Better hit the road. Let's go. Muchas gracias. Ciao. Okay. First mission of the day is oil our chain some TLC for bumblebee three two one go ah. Woo. okay three two one go ah. three two one go ah. wow that's a heavy bike ready yeah. go perfecto Gracias. 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 <laughs> uh, mi Alemania, el Inglaterra. Motocicleta Inglaterra. Ah, eso es de Inglaterra. Yeah, Inglaterra. Todo el mundo. Yeah. Todo el mundo en moto. Todo el mundo en moto, sí. Eso es sticker. <laughs> Lo ponen en el carro. Oh. <laughs> ¿A dónde se van ahora? Uh, Arequipa, Cañón del Coca. Después. Uh, uh, Cusco. Yeah, yeah. La carretera bloqueada. Están haciendo protesta. Which towns are blocked? Culiaca, Sicuani. Okay. Muchas gracias. Okay, gracias. Este lado, sí. Okay, okay, okay. Muchas gracias. Chao, chao, chao. Chao, chao. Chao. So it was difficult to understand exactly what which parts he was trying to tell us about but he was definitely trying to tell us that there was uh, some protests and some places to avoid and some roads that were blocked right yeah 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 that might be something we have to deal with over the next few days for sure yeah but yeah super friendly super nice even though we don't really speak spanish but <laughs> oh yeah petrol get it now good idea it's really crazy though because we can see loads of evidence of the protests that were happening earlier this year where basically just like in Brazil when we were there all the roads were being blocked and tires were being set on fire yeah you can see here on the right side the dark black this is like the remainings of the burnt tires and you can and see look at this on the road here wow like it's completely broken the road yeah and here as well black everywhere crazy it's really sad because it seems like that the people here are actually very friendly and very open and welcoming and that they have still so many issues with their um, politicians is just sad yeah we have traffic in the desert <laughs> oh no we are like five miles into our journey and there was already like a complete stop here on this road and i don't know why I don't know. Ah, there's like, look, roadworks. Ah, okay. Ah, roadworks. 
Yeah, and plus look in front of us, you've got one, two, three, four, five trucks. I do not know how we are going to pass these trucks. And we are heading up into the mountains, so they're all just going to be slowly snaking their way up. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be a fast day. Oh no. Anyway, yeah, we're winding our way through. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how long it will take us. Yeah, let's see where we're at in an hour. Yeah. Wow, we can see crazy, massive snowy mountains in the distance. And that's the direction we are headed. Up, 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 up. Back from sea level up to like 4,000 meters again. Crazy. I can see down there like a straight. So this will be probably our opportunity to overtake all the trucks. <laughs> crazy, man. Like, we are in a desert here and you can see snowy mountains in the background. That's something, eh? What a beautiful ride this morning! <laughs> beautiful mountain views, beautiful trucks. We're riding five kilometers an hour. Yeah, it's currently half past ten and we've made it 34 miles today. <laughs> so, not the greatest progress because we have 93 more before we get to a town called Chivet, which is going to be our way across to Colca Canyon. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, he's like really going for a day. Yeah. I don't know if this road is going to be like this for the next 93 miles, but if it is, man, it's going to be some kind of day. <laughs> Stuck in the traffic in Peru. Yeah, we're not in Patagonia anymore. No, here are actually people. Okay, we just stopped a little bit off the highway here. We're going to see what they've got in here. If there's anything for us. Hola, buenas. A sandwich, huevo? Yes. Is it? Huevo, a, uh, do you want tomato or something? Um, a mi to tomate? Tomate, tomate, tomate yes. <laughs> dos, dos. Awesome. Cool. Finding something to eat then, yes. 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 Cafe uh, from Peru? Peru. Ooh. Peru, si. Sí. Oh, perfecto. Gracias, gracias. Oh, gracias. <laughs> awesome. Thank Look you so at that. Much. Perfect. We managed to find something vegetarian. Yes. yes. Wow. And I think, look, they have like papa frita in there. They have cheese in there, egg in there, vegetables in there. Wow. I think we hit the jackpot with this one. A motorcycle around the world. As a Instagram, YouTube, todo. Yes. Gracias. Ciao, ciao. Back in traffic! Yeah, I'm disappointed the traffic hasn't finished. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> oh, <sighs> That's life, eh? Yeah, back at it. Let's see how far we can get. Here are the promised mountain views. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's finally a little bit more open here. There are still trucks, but they're a little bit more spread out, which is really good. So we've managed to make 60 miles now. And it's 12 o'clock, so... Yeah, but we had a really nice lunch break as well, so... <laughs> we have 66 miles to go to get to Chive, so we'll see how we get on, but uh, yeah, it's looking a little bit better. Yeah, and it's just nice to be up in the mountains again. We have 16 degrees, so the air is nice and fresh, and you have really nice views. So we're making the descent now down into the town of Chive, which is 13 miles way down at the bottom there. But there is a huge storm over the back end of this hill in front. And we are teetering right on the edge of it. Yeah, we could see already some lightnings. 
and we looked up actually that lightnings are very very dangerous for motorcyclists when we were in the lightning storm yes. back in chile we were under the impression that maybe we were safe because we were on like rubber tires or something <laughs> but i looked it up and no a lot of motorcyclists get hit by lightning and there is absolutely no protection for you so we're really hoping that by a miracle the storm will just disappear and we have a free ride to the canyon let's just hope for the best hey yeah it's literally over the other side of that hill yeah no 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 please oh, the rain is getting us I look at the switchbacks to come to get down oh my god this is a windy windy wiggly wiggly road totally totally no. oh, i can just about see chevet down at the bottom of the valley there it looks like that's there's sunshine <laughs> she does look sunny down there yeah oh no get down to chevet because it's super crazy we are actually still at 4,000 meters here yeah, I didn't realize how high we climbed, but that pass must have been over four and a half thousand meters. Yeah, huge. Insane. Wow, what a change of environment. It looks like we have made it down to the bottom of the valley and it's sunny here. <laughs> it's Woo! so sunny and pleasant. Oh my yes. God. It's a different world here. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. You can see the terraced hills yeah. and everything so green and lush and sunny really cool yeah wow it took us i mean at what time did we start it at we like started about nine nine ten eleven twelve one two yeah five hours five hours five for 126 hours. miles wow that's a that's a long long journey yeah but look the entrance here amazing <laughs> how cool yeah we're getting into inca peru now this is beautiful beautiful and the sheeps <laughs> <laughs> amazing <laughs> Precio de ingresio. Hmm, okay. Apparently we have to maybe pay. I'm not sure. Let's find okay. out. So Oli just went inside with the lady and I don't know if we have to pay anything to go and see the canyon or what is going on. Okay, so yeah, we actually had to pay to get in this area. The ticket is basically for the whole Colca Canyon region all the way to a town called Cabaconde, which is where we're headed. And the ticket is 150 soles for both of us, 70 each. And how much is that, like 30 pounds? I think so. Yeah, 30 pounds. Yeah, 30 pounds. Wow. That surprised us. I didn't realize you had to pay, but I guess it is, you know, Peru's second most visited attraction, the Colca Canyon, so yeah and they did give us a map of the area so that's pretty cool we've got a free map really? yes yeah but we have no cash left <laughs> no it was cash only and that was pretty much our last so we may need a, an atm after the petrol station yes so we managed to get cash from the atm in town we managed to get petrol and uh now we're just eating our way through a bag of cookies and we're gonna have a look at our map and we're gonna see what we're gonna do today i can hear a festival going on no, they've got a different street. We have to find them. I can hear them. I can hear them. They're around here. Whoa, here we go. Wow. Hello. Whoa. Oh, that's so cool. All right, that's awesome. So this is our free map that we got from the visitor center. And uh, we are here in Chive. And basically the Colca Canyon is following this blue river here. And we are also gonna be following it this way. And there's loads of mirror doors to stop at and check it out. And we are gonna be going all the way to Cabaconde 
where we're going to be looking for a room for the night. Oh, look at this curb. Yes. Whoop. Oh. oh. Ah. Hit the bash plate. Totally. We must be in like the historic center of the town, but it's super pretty here. I really like Chivet. Yeah, it's it's very nice. Very nice. Hey, look at this beautiful plaza. Amazing. Oh, wow. <laughs> and yeah, there's a festival going on today and you've got lots of people in traditional dress. I don't know if they wear the traditional dress all the time. But I love the traditional dress so much. It's absolutely stunning. Yeah. What a cute place. Extreme beautiful views here already and we are just 10 miles into the trail here. I really feel like we're delving deep into like the Inca past. You can see that there's so much history here. They've terraced like the entire mountainside. Basically every mountain you can see is terraced. Whoa, okay. Just about. <laughs> but it's absolutely crazy at the moment because this is supposed to be Peru's second most visited tourist attraction, but we've been the only ones on the road since we started, which is absolutely crazy. I mean, I guess just because of the ongoing protests and the political instability, people just aren't, aren't coming here. Don't go too close to the edge. <laughs> <laughs> well, the canyons are starting now. Look at that. And look at where we're going. We're going through the tunnel and then along the cliff here. Wow. Very, very cool. I mean, how incredible, hey? Just imagining like people working these fields, these terraces, walking up and down and cutting with their hands you here. You feel like, like hundreds of years of history here. It's amazing. Crazy. This is an incredibly dark tunnel. That's scary as hell. Like you can just imagine somebody like jumping out in front of you here. No, I don't want that. I don't want to imagine that. I feel like I want to just stop and turn the engine off, and it's just like oh, oh my, my god. god. No, really, when I look back, it's completely black. Completely black in here. Wow, it's that dark. You would have a good sleep in there. Ooh. Jesus. <laughs> Crazy. Whoa, this canyon. It's definitely starting to get higher and higher. Yeah, wow, well, this ride just gets better and better. Yeah, it now we've entered into like these cactus hill territory. Look at these <laughs> cactuses. Yeah, incredible. They are huge. Just turned off the highway to come to this mirador. And I think we're getting pretty much to the biggest part of the canyon here. I won't go too, too far. <laughs> wow, that is a massive view. Absolutely incredible.
Oh, that goes down a fair way, hey. Oh my goodness. Here we go, look at this. Whoa, that's a big view. Whoo! Can you hear the river at the bottom? Yeah. Wow, it's massive, eh? Massive. So this is Mirador Cruz del Condor, the Condor Cross Lookout. And it's called that because here is actually a really, really good spot to see condors, Andean condors. And we actually saw a couple of them already passing by, but hopefully we'll see some more because now I've got this camera. So according to the sign up there, at 4,160 meters, Colca Canyon is actually the second deepest canyon in the world. Don't ask me what the deepest is, they didn't mention it. <laughs> Apparently, at this lookout right here, the valley floor is 1,200 meters away. 1,200 meters away! That is crazy! Do you think this is a condor? Ah, I think that might be a condor. Lavi and I are not uh, birders very much, so we... Oh, that is an Andean yeah. condor. Nice. And this bird is really special because it can live 60 to 70 years and it can have a wingspan of like two to two and a half meters. So it is a huge, huge bird. Wow, what an epic landscape. Yeah, totally out of this world. It's not every day that you can admire such a big crack in the earth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I just love that the condors are around. It's just this combination of like landscape and really unique and special wildlife that I think is just absolutely magical. Wow, look at the landslide here. Oh my goodness. Wow. Ooh. There was something going on. Yeah, that's a big landslide. Crazy. So now we'll be heading to Cabaconde, which is our end point on this ride here. And uh, we haven't booked anything in the town. Uh, we don't know how big the town is, but uh, I'm sure there'll be hopefully a room for us. Yes, it's still a little bit too cold and too windy for camping. And the room prices are just too good here. <laughs> exactly. So we've got six and a half miles more of this spectacular road to ride. And then we'll be finding ourselves a beautiful room for the night. So we went the wrong way and now we have to cut our way here through to arrive at the place. <laughs> Look at oh. these things! <laughs> wow! Whoa! They're absolutely massive! It's like the flower stem from, I don't know what they are, flax yeah. or something. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Super huge. And some horses and donkeys, donkeys here and something flew in my eye. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh! There must have been a swarm of... of uh, bugs there yeah yeah i thought we were going into the village and then we sort of carried on around this cliff here and the village is over there and we were like hmm, where's the turn off <laughs> so we found a hotel and we just parked up bumblebee here in the jungle so she will sleep here tonight see you tomorrow baby yes we found ourselves an awesome room <laughs> okay thank you <laughs> and look how beautiful this town is so nice. This is your place? My grandma. Your grandma's ah. place. The hotel is my uncle. Your uncle. Ah. Okay. okay, so all in the family, yeah? Uh -huh. Yeah, cool. Very cool. Nice. I born in uh, Lima. Oh, you born in Lima? When was uh, 23 years. Mm -hmm. 
go. Ah. Goodbye, Lima. You're clever. My nice. name is Fernando. <laughs> Fernando. Very nice, Very nice to, to meet, meet you. Very nice to meet you. And, and you like it here? I love. I love. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can breathe. You can yeah, breathe. Yeah. Breathe. Welcome to paradise. <laughs> this room with breakfast included tomorrow for 80 soles, which is about 18 pounds. So it's so maybe a little bit over budget, but we can I, resist. And also we went anyway today already over budget. Why not going totally over budget? We're just going crazy now. Look at this breakfast. <laughs> Hello. So that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time. Check it out. And this is actually the second largest canyon in the world. Is it? Deepest. Mm. We have to look it up.